another beautiful day here in Edmonton. It's 8.05 on a Saturday. I just woke up. I felt motivated. <laughs> that guy driving by just looking at me, vlogging, laughing at me. Um, yeah, so I just woke up, felt motivated to go to the lab, get some work done early. And then I wanted to shoot this egg surgery video. So I'm gonna give that a try today. I just finished lab work. All I'm thinking at this point is lying on that patio couch. <laughs> I'm gonna do an apartment tour later on, but I just finished my balcony. and my um, outdoor couch right there and I bought this high top bar table because if the table is low if I sit down this is the view that I get <laughs> so I bought a high top table so that when I sit down I can still get a good view of the city guys I can't wait for the coronavirus to be over so I can have some friends over here during summer and make them Korean barbecue with this girl here I hit 10,000 subscribers today and I want to thank all of you for supporting me from the very first day that I started YouTube. The reason why I started this channel in the first place was because growing up in high school and in university, I didn't have any family members or uh, friends who were in medicine who gave me any advice on how to study, how to write the MCAT, how to apply to medicine, what life is like in medicine. Uh, so I had to do a lot of finding on my own and I wanted to make this sort of advice and information available for everyone to consume so that no one has an unfair advantage in applying or in pursuing a career in medicine. I have some ambitious goals for the future of this channel and that is to not only improve on the quality of the content that I put out but also the production value and I'll be posting more regularly so that you guys are up to date. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please do. I hope you guys continue to enjoy the videos that I put out and I want to thank you once again. All right, so the first thing you have to do is you have to cook your pasta. So get a pot of water and then keep it at high heat. You never, ever, ever want to oil your pasta with your pot of water. So get your spaghetti out. It says gluten-free. I'm actually going to use something with gluten. Start to use a spaghettini, which is smaller spaghetti. So Jamie Oliver said you got to twist your pasta and let go you always want to put salt and lots of salt so like this much okay put some olive oil and I put some butter in there as well how do I know this? I saw an Italian guy do this all right while this is going you can chop up your bacon but mine's already kind of chopped I just bought pork for soup. You just press it down with your knife to make it like this. You throw that in there. The butter, the olive oil, and the fat from the pork mixing, mixing with the garlic will give it, give it a nice aroma. So while you're doing that, you want to make some egg batter. Two eggs in that bowl. And you whisk it a little bit. You're going to put a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And you want to just, just put some cheese in there. You want to mix your egg batter. All right, you want to make sure that the pasta is cooked adequately. I'm just going to switch over here. All right, so you want this nice and golden brown. I took it off the heat and reheated this because the pasta was cooking a little slower. At this point, you just turn off the heat, grab something like this, and you want to transfer the pasta over with some water. So this is off the heat now.
the sizzling should go away and all you're left with is kind of this um, nice soft texture all right at this point in time you want to put your egg in okay if you don't mix well you're gonna get stir fry see that creamy texture that's what we want I didn't put any salt in the meat itself the water this pasta water was salted so it corrected itself you know Grab that. Slice some cheese on there. And voila, you have your Italian carbonara. Dallas new video regarding his income which was shocking to see how much money he was making I was actually particularly interested in his comments regarding Skillshare so I did some uh, brainstorming I went for a walk after the lab and I think I'm gonna make a class on how to start a coffee shop with my sister so my sister and I when I was in my fourth year of undergrad and when she was in the, her first year with the help of our parents We started a coffee shop called Cafe Amarty. You can follow our Instagram right here But we basically took over a struggling coffee shop and then turned it into a very successful cafe right now It's doing really well. So uh, I think I'm gonna make a video on that Restaurants, cafe now just opened up. Eleanor and Laurent apparently. You think there are more people outside than uh, it was previously? Yep. I feel like there are more people outside now than like a regular sum summer day. <laughs> well, so are we. Yeah, so are we. We're adding to the problem, sorry. I think everyone's just kind of frustrated with staying home all the time that they're just, itch <laughs> they're just itching to get out. Same with us. You can see there are many people. So I was a little stress ball hit that writer's block and I just couldn't put out stuff. So I decided to take a walk with Tasha. It's a good break from all the things that are going on, you know? I could have just laid in bed and relaxed, but this is a good way to kind of freshen things up, get your blood circulating, you know? So Tasha and I watched like four episodes of Last Dance, Michael Jordan documentary yesterday. I think it's probably like one of the best documentaries I've seen. I can't believe she sat through the entire basketball documentary. <laughs> Number one rule, you can't be complaining. I know how stressed I am, I know how crazy it is, but don't complain, just gotta work through it. Suck it up, buttercup. Suck it up, buttercup. Guys, I sat at that desk way too long today. I cannot sit there any longer. I have to come outside and study out here. It looks gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, our premier just resigned. Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin with fast moving developments. I know that some of you guys are wishing that so bad, but it didn't happen. Now we go way, way back, as far as way back goes. Still, right, 
it's 8.25 on a Sunday. Yesterday was not that productive. I went to the lab, took way longer than I thought. And when I came home after eating lunch and all that, um, filmed the egg YouTube challenge, <laughs> which took also longer than I thought. And I had some time to study, but I was feeling lazy and I just decided to just clean stuff around the house and spend time with my girlfriend, which is still a, like a healthy thing to do, but I didn't get any studying done. And studying for me is always a priority. And I pushed that all the way down to the bottom yesterday. So I'm paying the price right now. I feel anxious. I feel like I'm not a good student. I have this all these negative thoughts uh, around my head. So I just gotta block those out. I just gotta sit down and get studying done because if I don't, it's gonna ruin my day. So let's go. Mm -hmm.